everyone and welcome to my bedroom. As many of you know, soon I will be starting my final year of university and one of the first things I always love to get together is my backpack. Last year you guys seemed to really enjoy taking a peek at what I carry with me throughout the day so I figured I'd give you an updated what's in my backpack video. Before I get into it though, I do want to say a huge thank you to AMD for sponsoring today's video and helping me stay productive in and out of the classroom with the Lenovo Flex 14 laptop, which I will be showing you a little bit later in the video. Yeah, something dropped. <laughs> it's really important for me to be prepared for whatever the day has in store for me, so hopefully this video gives you some backpack inspiration. My backpack this year you may recognize because yes, it is the exact same model of backpack that I used last year but in a different color. Last year I had the burgundy, this year I bought the brown. <laughs> what I love about it is that it combines style with functionality. Last year I packed my backpack to the max and it never failed me and I was very impressed by the build of it so I am very happy to have another one. I still have the other one as well but I left it back home so if I ever need a backpack there I have something. This backpack has a slot for a laptop and the laptop I'm currently packing with me is the AMD powered Lenovo Flex 14. So because this laptop is AMD powered it's super fast. It has up to eight hours of battery life and one of the reasons why I think it's such a great option for student life is because it goes from laptop a tablet. And look, you can see that you're balancing on a stack of books right now. The fact that it can go so easily from laptop to tablet mode is really handy for me especially because I do like taking digital notes, which many of you have been asking for a digital note taking video and that is coming so so soon. You gotta keep those eyeballs open for that. This is my imitation of an eyeball opening. Not creepy at all. So in general it's just a really great multitasking tool so I'm happy to have it with me. Of course always have to have my phone with me. Ooh, I took a photo. The same laptop slot is also the home of my bullet journal, also known as my planner. This is the Lloydstrom 1917 medium dotted notebook and although this is my current bullet journal planner, I am switching to a different notebook uh, for September. I still have yet to choose which notebook that will be, um, but I will have to make that decision soon. But of course it's always great to have a planner on hand because you always want to be able to write down any dates that come up for tests or assignments or whatever, group meetings. On days when I'm taking my laptop, I usually don't need to take a full notebook, uh, but I always like to have paper on hand. So I have this little, it's a mini, mini notebook. As you can see, it's very thin. It's from a brand called Coupel d'Ides. Coupel d'Ides, oh wow. 10 years of French lessons really did me no good. But it's got grid paper inside and I love the fact that it looks like a mini folder. So cute and gonna be great for any you know, quick notes I have to jot down. We're entering into pouch territory. You're quickly gonna learn that I love my pouches. Pretty much everything in my backpack is stored in a pouch because I find it easier to find things when they're all grouped together. And the first pouch is my emergency kit. Technically it's a pencil case, but I've made it my emergency kit. This pencil case is from Anthropology. which fun fact, if you are ever looking for cute stationary things, pens, pencil cases, notebooks, go to Anthropology. but uh, go there with someone that will hold you back from buying everything because I am always tempted whenever I go there to just go crazy. <laughs> in my emergency kit I always carry mints. I drink a lot of coffee so that is necessary. Tampons and panty liners. You just never know ladies, you just never know. A tied to go stick because I am a klutz. Some hand sanitizer because I live in Toronto. Really honestly the only explanation you need. <laughs> this Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender blotting sponge looks like this. And I have very oily skin, so I just always need something to blot my face with, and this has worked out really well. If you watched my What's in My Backpack video last year, then you will be familiar with my little pill pod here. I'm still using it because it is the best thing in the world. Inside, I just like to store some liquid Advil um, in case I start not feeling well and I have a lot of class ahead of me. Another tool that I like to use if I'm not feeling well is this Sage Peppermint Halo Wand. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love Sage products, but my favorite product from their, their store, their line, is the Peppermint Halo. So this is technically an applicator. It comes in lots of different application forms, but this stick is meant to put the oil on your scalp. But I just like using this to draw some lines at the back of my neck, and I find when I put this at the back of my neck, it's really effective 
at helping relieve headaches. And if I have a long day ahead of me, I don't want to be stopped because of a headache. So this is the first thing I go to and then if this doesn't do the trick, I will go for the Advil. But um, usually this in itself is enough. Got my house keys, some wet ones, antibacterial wipes because again, Toronto. I also have a little pouch with some hair ties. This little pouch is so cute. It's from Muji and I love that it's see-through because I can use this for anything and you can easily see what's inside. In this case, it's hair ties. Another little pouch I have in here that's also from Anthropology is my pencil case. And we not all agree that this is so cute. It even has a little tassel. So look, it's a fun time if you shake it back and forth. The magnetic closure and this is the house or the home of all of my pens and just writing tools that I may need while I'm out. For pens, I currently have the 0.38 black gel pen from Muji and this pen from Paper Skater, Itoya. Ooh, where did I get this? I don't even know, but I really love this one as well. Again, a link will be in the description box. I've got some mini little baby stab below highlighters. These make me so happy. They're just so tiny. I, I just can't. Oh man. There's a post-it flag, a clear ruler from Paper Chase, some whiteouts. Also from Muji is this mini stapler. It folds up, but then you can just bam. And there you go, you got a little stapler. Really handy to have this around because you never know when you'll need to staple an assignment or someone else will need to staple an assignment. And then a random thing I have in my pencil case because I always have my pencil case on my desk is a lip balm. I mean, it could go in the emergency kit, but like I said, it's always, the pencil case is always on my desk, so it's just handier to have it in here. Another thing I always like to have on hand so that I can be productive when I'm out of the house is snacks. So usually I'll have some sort of bar like these. This one is from Laura Bar. It is the peanut butter chocolate chip fruit and nut energy bar. Uh, these two are from Kind. This one is the mango apple chia. Um, fruit bar and this one is their dark chocolate peanut butter kind bar, but it's like in this chewy form all super good and All great if you are starting to feel hangry. I hate being hangry So having these emergency hangry preventers is pretty critical in addition to the snacks I also like to have a water bottle on hand. This one is from swell It's a bit of a different design than the typical swell water bottle you may be used to seeing but it is kind of cool because it has a wider mouth if you didn't know these work for hot and cold beverages so they're very versatile next up is this little pouch that is the home to my headphones it has a spot here for your headphones to be rolled up and then because i have an iphone that takes the the dongle uh, i always need to have a dongle with me side note dongle it's a funny word no it's very convenient because i can just store it there and feel good that it's gonna stay put i always like to have some sort of um, storage device on hand whether it's just like a usb stick or a full-on hard drive like this one i'm a little bit paranoid and always like to have projects and tests and even lecture notes backed up also have my charger for my laptop the last pouch in here is this clear one. Uh, this is from the company Paper Chase as well. For those of you who live in Toronto, the Hudson's Bay in Yorkville has a Paper Chase store set up, so definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. And in this pouch, as you can see, because it is a clear pouch, I keep my phone charger, a calculator, because I'm in a business program. For those of you who don't know, I go to school for business at the University of Toronto. And then also my eye clicker because there's a lot of lectures that use eye clickers for you to give responses to questions that the professor puts on the screen. And a lot of the times answering those questions contributes to participation marks. We gotta get our marks, so we gotta have the eye clicker on hand. And the last thing in this bag uh, is actually located in the pouch at the back. I love the placement of this pouch because when you have the backpack on, you can actually open it and get what's ever inside without taking off your backpack. What I keep in there right now is a mini wallet sleeve card holder. There we go. In here I just keep the essentials. So ID, Presto card for getting around on the TTC, university ID, credit card, debit card. I also have some cash in here, a 20 and a 5. And I think that is all I have in here. Another thing to note is that this bag does have zippers that open so that you can expand it and make it bigger if you have quite a lot of things to pack in it. So um, you really can have a lot of things in this thing. Everything that I had in it that I showed you guys today fit perfectly in here and I had plenty of room to add more stuff. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you, you don't miss any more back to school content and let me know in the comment section down below what is your number one backpack essential or backpack must. I think for me, especially in the last year, having snacks on hand has become very important for me so that I can always stay energized. Thank you again to AMD for sponsoring today's video. You can find out more about the AMD powered Lenovo Flex 14 laptop by clicking the links in the description box below. There's a US and a Canadian link, as well as links to all of the things I mentioned today. So lots of juicy stuff in that description box for you. I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, Bye guys! Please take note of the fact that I'm wearing this nice fancy top with these fun sleeves and then pajama bottoms. Yeah. 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 <laughs>